In this video, we are going to learn how to make fast deletes with Entity Framework Core by using a library called Entity Framework Core Plus. The idea is the following. When you delete records with Entity Framework Core without any libraries, this is the general approach that we must do. We must load the records in memory, then use a method like remove range so that we can mark the records to be deleted and then we issue a save changes operation which will update the table by deleting the records. Now that's usually fine when you have a few records to delete but if you have a massive amount of records to delete then this can be very 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 slow. Let's see an example of this. Here as you can see what I'm doing is that I am creating a database, I am generating some records 100,000 records actually I am generating then I am just counting those records just to be sure then I use a stopwatch just to measure the amount of time that this operation takes so let me run this and this will open this console application now let's wait a few seconds and as you can see the operation took about 2.8 seconds which is okay but if there were more records to delete then this operation would take longer longer and longer which is not good so what we're going to do is that we're going to install the entity framework core plus library to fix this so let me close this i'll go to the solution explorer right click on the project and i'll say manage nuget packages i'll go to browse and i will install entity framework core plus for entity framework core so let me paste this the name of the library is c dot entity framework dot extensions dot ef core as you can see they also have versions for ef5 and ef4 but in our case we're going to use the version for ef core so let me install this and i'll accept this and this has been installed now i can close this and i can get to work below this console right line i have the same operations as before i am recreating the database generating the records and counting the records. I'll also uncomment this out and in this to do, I will put the code for using the library. I'll say using bar context equal to new application DB context, which is a normal application DB context, just like we have learned in the past or in other courses. As you can see, I am using SQL Server and something that I have to tell you is that in order to use this library for this bulk deleting operation, you must have multiple active result sets active. If you don't, then you will get an exception. And if you don't have SQL Server, you can always use SQLite as I am indicating here. So let's go up here, back to the code, and I want to come here and use the library. Context people which is our table dot delete from query this delete from query and also delete from query async are two methods that come from our entity framework core plus library and this allows us to issue a delete statement into sql server now let me delete this async because i am not using asynchronous programming here but you can definitely do so if you want to now let me press Ctrl F5 so that you can see the result of our operation. Now with the magic of video editing, I will go to the future so you don't have to wait. Now as you can see, the operation has finished. Without the library, the operation took 2.7 seconds and with the library, the operation just took 1.0 seconds, which is great, which is almost a third of what it took without the library which is a great improvement if you ask me. Now what this operation is doing is that it is issuing the delete statement to the database but something to take into account is that here we are deleting every single record from the table. Maybe you don't want that of course, maybe you want to filter. For example, I want to say here where and I will say something like x.id less than or equal to 50,000. So I just want to delete those records that have its ID as less than or equal to 50,000. And just to make a fair comparison, I will copy this and I will paste it here. 
so that we can have a WHERE statement here also. Now let me press Ctrl F5 one more time and we're going to be able to compare the two operations and we're going to see that the Entity Framework Core Plus still exceeds the time of Entity Framework Core without the library. As you can see, the operation without the library took about 1.5 seconds. Meanwhile, the operation with the library only took 0.68 seconds, which is great, which is less than half of what it took without the library. So as you can see, Entity Framework Core Plus is a library that you can use in order to make bulk deletes in your database, which is great when you have to delete a higher amount of records. In our case, we are deleting here 50,000 records from our database and we are doing that in less than a second. This feature of the library is free, so you can definitely start using it today. Thanks.